So, you know, when, so when you consume this, you know, there's this wonderful experience. Yeah? Not that it's narcotic, yeah, you know, and you kind of you internalize as well. But I think most important of all, you know, there's certain sacredness to it. So hence the title of the sacred series. So somebody asked me, what's so sacred about Siri? Right? Isn't it just a pastime? It's just a habit? So I think it's got to do with, um, with uh, what we call the Nenek Moyang or Le Luhur, or the ancestors. Yeah? So we, let's go back to the Dongsong object. As many of you have familiar, are familiar with the Dongsong object, it's like a rain drum. Now, the purpose, the primary function of all Dongsong items, they are not utilitarian. To, it was all for, for the purpose of ritual, you know, to, to propitiate you know, your nene moyang. They were, it was used for that purpose, the Dongsong material. Yeah? So Siri began as a sacred act. So when you consume Siri, you are, in fact, you are in communion, you are in contact with the, your nene moyang or your leluhur. Then there's also the, the famous northern uh, Philippine myth of origin. So it was believed that the creator of earth came down from the mountain. There was a period where there's, you know, there was this mountain cult. Yeah? This is pre-Hindu, pre-Buddhist, the, the mountain cult. So it was believed that the creator came from the mountain to create earth. But one of the things that he took with him to come down, or the sort of care package, was the series set or at least a Siri and its ingredient, yeah, in order to, to be here. So there's a myth of origin. And in Bali today, you know, of course we see lots of flower offering in Bali, but offering of Siri is a class of its own. It's a different kind you know, for certain occasions, certain deity that they serve the Siri. And then Anthony Reid, a, histor a historian, said in the Malay world, ancestral spirit also had to be given the Siri on every significant occasion. Right? You, know, you have to sort of appease uh, you know, your, your, or be in contact with the ancestors. Um, we know Pinang is, the, this is Pinang. Has, I've got pieces of Pinang. Um, Pinang, it looks like a miniature coconut. It's got a husk. When the husk is removed, uh, you need to, uh, you'll be able to get the whole, the seed. And the seed, you have to slice using, uh, using a slicer or a cut shape. I'll show you samples of that later. Um, but pinang has also become a verb. To pinang means to propose. Right? And all the compounds of pinang has got to do with marriage. Yeah? So why is that so? Because uh, marriage is so important for the Nenek Moyang. What could be more important to make sure this continue, to, to ensure this continuity of your, of your, your descendants? So hence the presence of Siri, whether it's an, you know, it's an engagement, whether it's a wedding, uh, you need to have that. Besides, we know that Siri and Pinang resembles male and female. Siri is the female and Pinang is the male. Yeah? So you need, to, you need to invoke the presence of your, your moyang in weddings. And Siri chewing is also entangled in magic and supernatural. Yeah? You know, in, in Timor, the Timorese warriors, they are known before they go to war, they would chew, and the spit is also sacred. They would smear it on their chest, right, in the hope of you know, victory. Right? Or, you know, so almost sort of you know, what we call you know, talismanic. Yeah? Um, in the Malay world, you know, we believe that little kids you know, are susceptible to spirits. Right? You know, imagine the kid you know, kept crying, kept crying the whole night long. You know, could it be because the kid is bloated or the kid had been attacked by spirits? Or, um, or the kids would, uh, you see, in, in, we, are very, we are very familiar with the term mind, body, and soul, right? But in Malay world, there's a fourth element. It's called the samangat. Yeah? Samangat is the inner life force, the inner spirit. And all of us have a samangat. So when the kid kept crying the whole night long, you know, maybe we say the kid have lost his samangat, his or her samangat. So hence the expression, kur samangat. Yeah, it's not kusma, kur smangat is kur to, to get back, to get, to get the smangat back. So the elder in the family would chew, and then you might spear something a little bit on the crown of the baby, and the baby would be, it's all good because the smangat has returned. Yeah. Uh, for those of us who are very familiar with Wayang Kulit, I think we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna witness soon Wayang Kulit among the uh, uh, Star Wars Wayang Kulit very soon. 
uh, and in th this talk is part of this Budidaya exhibition. Um, puppet masters, both in Java and also the East Coast, would typically choose Siri before they perform. Not only to, to give the energy, to energize them, to inspire them, but they hope also by chewing the Siri, it will uh, deter them from telling falsehood. So this, I know this, sorry, this looks like a laundry list from birth to death, but I just wanted to tell you that this is so central, right? You know, we go to museum, we see beautiful series set, and we say, this, this is a, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful, but look at, look at the appearance of Siri in everyday life. So let's start from birth. This is not even birth. This is pre-birth. Lingang Parod literally means rocking the stomach. It's almost like, it's like a baby shower. Right? When you're seven months old, a, a, a per month old of pregnancy, so you could do a lingam parod. And during lingam parod, you could also uh, sort of uh, predict the gender of the baby. This is before the days of scanning. Right? You know, you can go, you can go scanning, you know what the baby is going to be. So uh, you could place the Siri on a saucer with the right incantation. You flip the saucer, and depending where the leaves land, if it lands, uh, the shining part, the shiny part faces up. You you are expecting a baby girl. Now, if it falls and then you know it's the, the dorsal is facing you, it's going to be a boy. Okay. And tangal uh, pusat. That's actually the detachment of the umbilical cord. We know that you know it could be you know it could be infected. But again, but because Siri contains so much you know antiseptic, a medicinal value. Um, that you could apply, and it will help to heal, so you can pre to prevent any infection. Toddler's first speech, so when you have the, your, your grandkid, when he or she begin to start to you know, uh, utter his or first word, you would take a, a dab of Siri, put it on the tongue, in the hope that the baby would you know, sort of pick up in the, sort of the, his or speech you know, very you know, uh, uh, quickly and fluently. We talk about jumput semangat, to get this uh, in life force, Sign of hospitality. It is unthinkable to go to somebody's house and no Siri was served to you. Forget about the drinks. You don't need, you don't need the drinks. You don't, no Siri. So it's a sign that you're not welcome. Yeah. Shrine offering. Talk about that. And it's been practiced in Bali. Pledge of trust. How do people? You know, I want to do. I want to do some kind of dealing with uh, Chegu Analisa, right? And you know, Chegu, you know what? You know, you have you have a big boat out at sea, but we cannot navigate through the river. I have a whole fleet of small boats. Let's do some kind of you know, you know business dealing here. So when both of us, you know, consume the Siri, so that the force of that 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 uh, um, gesture carries the weight of a contract. Yeah. Uh, to court, yes, when you, you want to propose somebody's daughter, yeah, betrothal, marriage, we talk about that, state regalia. It's so important, the Siri is so central. You know, you've seen in, in Malaysia, I don't see that in Sumatra these days, but in Malaysia, it, the, the state regalia includes Siri set, the maze, the craze, and also... Um, uh, uh, other, other sort of other uh, could be an umbrella. Yeah, it could be a yellow umbrella. Um, Siri. Every the, the, in, in Malaysia, it was only in 1975 that they have stopped the office of the Siri. The office of the seal is still on, but the office of Siri has really been abolished in 1975. So before that, when the Sultan or young diplomat are going attend even a Quran reading competition, the whole retinue had to be led by somebody carrying the Siri set. Wherever the Sultan goes, Siri set has to go with him. Okay. Diplomatic gift. I'm very thankful to diplomatic gift because uh, in, in this part of the world, it's very hard to get very good Siri set, complete set of a Siri set made in Singapore that is for the purpose of uh, passing it down. Oh, by the way, folks, this is a, this is an, um, this is an, um, a, eight, a 19th century uh, Javanese. So we have Javanese experts here. Um, you can see there, this is, this is probably the host. This is the gas, and then the, the series set. 
So, you know, Siri appears in, in all in our you know, sort of everyday dealings, so much so, you know, it becomes part of our, our speech. We hear words like Kado Handa Nai Junjong, and the English translation is the Kado plant wishes to climb the Siri stick. Kado is the false Siri, it's Piper Lingam. It's the same family, it looks like it. It doesn't have the same uh, property, let alone status. So Piper, I hope I have the right spelling, the, uh, the, 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 the species. Okay. This is Kado. So to the Malays, the Kado is not the real Siri. So I want to show you, this is Siri, the Piper Betel, and this is Kado. Or some people call it Siri Kado. It doesn't look the same. Yeah. So when you go to Thai restaurant, they serve you bitter leaf. It's not that bitter leaf that we chew. It's this bitter leaf. Down Kado is actually what they serve. It's this dish called Myang Kum, where they put dried, dried prawns, they put nuts, and they put some, some of the sweet sauce, they roll it up. So this is Daun Kado, not to be confused. But Malays, you actually use this to make nasi ulam. Yeah? So why do you call Kado wishes to climb the stick? Because the, only the Siri could climb. Poor Kado is a creeper, is a ground, you know, covering. So it's like saying the goose fancies herself a swan. Yeah? Okay. You're not quite Siri, but you want to be, a, you want to act like a Siri. Okay. Bagai pinang di belah dua. You know, when you attend a wedding, you say, Bagai pinang di belah dua, like an Arika nut split in two. Well matched in every point of view. Because the pinang, when you cut it into two, it's mubbly. It has all this vein. And of course, you, it, will, it will match, right? It, it matches the two, the two sides and it will, will match. So when you see a wedding like that, say, pinang di belah dua. Yeah? This is a beautiful, uh, 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 beautiful uh, uh, Malaccan style. Okay, uh, Siri Nai Junjung Pata, as the vine is growing up, its prop gives away. This is when you say, you know, the, the very person you rely on, you know, just as when you need the person most, the person, something happens to that person. A family of five, you know, one single, a single parent, the father working, the father got an accident, and then what do we say? The vine is growing, you know, Siri Nai Junjung Pata. And then, Pagai Krakap Tumbuh Batu. You see, the, the words for Siri, there's so many kinds of Siri. There's Siri China, there's Siri India, there's Siri Melayu, and even within one plant, different parts have different names. Krakap is that Siri that's right at the very bottom. It's dry, it's brittle, nobody's going to eat. If I'm going to chew, I only want the best. So I'll take the shoots. Now, if I'm going to use it for, med for medical purposes, for medicine purposes, it has to be a different Siri entirely. It's the Siri where all the veins meet up. It's called Siri Batamu Urat. So, a different kind of Siri. So, this Bagai Krakap Tumbo Di Batu, like the base leaf or the vine, this is like saying, for lack of a better term, you're a loser. Yeah. Right? That's why you say you're a Krakap. That's why you are you're a loser. Yeah. So Siri, yes, we heard Siri. We, we, we heard about Siri and its connection with you know with the, with, the, with the ancestors uh, in, in in ceremonies and so on. But Siri is a first aid box. Before we have that first, first aid box, this was the first aid box. This lady, her name uh, was Saripa. She was a concubine of a Dutch uh, official. And you see the Siri box here. It's very much a Dutch influence. It looks like a jewelry, you know, sort of chest, a box. Yeah. So there are too many, too many what Siri could do for you, right? Siri contains a, a, a chemical called phenol, and phenol is known for giving this really sweet, you know, sort of, you know breath. Uh, and then it's antiseptic, yeah? It aids digestion, it cures wounds and ulcer, um, calms the mind, that's what it does, you know, it, it has a calming effect. Maybe I, should, I, maybe I should have chewed some Siri before I start, got started. I was a bit nervous, so, you know, Siri to calm me down, yeah? Reduce swelling. And, for the, and people, you know, if those of you are involved in, uh, in martial art, you know, when you, you, know, you get a cut or when people go to war, you always have a stash somewhere. You would chew and immediately you plaster it. You know, smear it, you know, onto the, your wound, yeah? Uh, you know, it relieves constipation. Uh, even removes arsenic. Yeah? What about Pinang? So Pinang, I mentioned earlier, 12th century European you know, pharmacology, it was the vermifuge. You know what's that? For worms, right? You know, 
back then, even Singapore, back in the 60s, you know, it's, it's quite common for you know, young people to have worms in the stomach. So, you know, the pinang is capable of, uh, of uh, uh, getting rid of the, 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 the worms in, in the system. Uh, cures diarrhea, yeah? So it's just, just this whole list of what it could do. And in combination with, uh, uh, with uh, capsicum and pandan, you know, even, could even cure gonorrhea. So I don't know how they discovered that, yeah? <laughs> so it's just, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, okay. Lime. What about lime, right? Uh, lime is just it's so important. Uh, when somebody gets stung you know, in, the, in, the, in the kampong, you get stung by the bee, the first thing you do is to go to your grandmother and she will, she will, it will stop the... Uh, the pain, yeah? and they, so they, they, they also believe it sort of it, it stops the, the, the transmission of the venom. What's of supernatural, uh, and also because it is it is uh, it is alkaline, real yeah? calcium hydroxide is also an antacid. To me, I I I'll go to my grandmother's uh, not just for, for for all of this, but the lime is essential too when you cook. You know, it's how do you how do you make your low pace? Your gluten, the triangular glutinous rice without this. So you, will get, you won't get the same sort of chewiness and the same you know, taste without the kapo. So you need kapo. And, about your, and also your banana fritters. You know, for those of you who enjoy you know, pisang goreng banana fritters, you need to include a little lime you know, that you get from your grandma's in the series set so that you get this crunch in the batter. Gumber as a lotion. I've tried this. Goggle for sore throat. I had this really consistent, this strep throat was, was clearly, I thought it was tonsillitis. Uh, I tried, I wash first the, the lozenges, I dip it, and then I gargle, and it worked. Wonders. Yeah. So, as we saw that uh, Siri as, as the um, uh, first aid box, what about Siri in art? Let's take a look at this image here. The first thing that comes to mind, this must be heart shapes, right? But the idea of heart shape, right, part of the, is, 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 is not quite part of the Malay geometry. Seriously, you know, you see, the European playing cards came later. In the Malay world, we have terms like, you know, it's interesting how certain things became part of the Malay geometry. Um, those of us who eat this glutinous rice called wajit, when you say potong wajit, the food came first and then the geometry, means to cut in the rhombus like shape, diamond shape, right? Bujur telo, telo is egg, bujur telo means it is elliptical. This is bujur sire, meaning it is broad and it's pointy. So the ideal girl in the Malay sort of in you know, a world is to have the, your face will be bujur sire, meaning you have a very nice chin, right? There, okay, yeah, bujur sire. As a geometrical figure, inspiration for mandarin foliage, we see lots of that in wood carving, Siri and the vine, yeah. In silverware, this is a sil this is a silverware from jo Johor Rial area. Textile design with Siri, yeah, lots of that. Uh, color references, uh, mostly pinang. So when you see something that's vermilion, like what uh, Haider is wearing, we don't say he's wearing orange. We call it pinang masa. Yes, okay, yes. Um, folding of the headgear. This is not the correct the right one. This headgear, there is a special, there's a special headgear, it's called sireh kembar. Means the twin uh, sireh is layered. There's a way of folding, a style is called sireh kembar, the twin sireh. In dancers, you must have seen all Malay movies done by Shaw or by Cathay uh, production. Dancers got to do with sireh, songs that has got to do with sireh, and of course, of course, accessories designed like this. Okay? This are uh, Krongsang. After, you know, when the Malays make the transition from being topless or berkemban, just a waist cloth, when they actually, the introduction of the abaya from the Near East, the abaya, what used to be an overcoat, it became the actual blouse itself, becomes the kabaya, and you, because it is, a, it, is, it is a dress that opens in the middle, you need to fasten. So you need to have the krongsang. But of course, not, you know, this, this are, these are royalties. Yeah? So it wouldn't be as elaborate as this. But look at this, this krongsang. Uh, what shape is this? Heart shape? Somebody said it's the peach. What's the peach doing in Southeast Asia? <laughs> yeah? Is it the Indian parsley? No, it is not. This is 
If Siri is so sacred, what could be more profound than to have Siri close to your heart? So according to Skeet, William Skeet, who wrote about Malay medicine, he said, and this was confirmed when I interviewed uh, Tengku Lukman Sinar before he passed away. He was the de facto Sultan of Serdang in Sumatra. I asked him to confirm what Skeet wrote, and he said exactly the same. This is the Sireh, this is the Pinang, this is the Gambir. 